Hey y'all, Nick Huerta here, here to talk about the M98 DOV. Okay, the uh, 198, I had a 18 foot JVX 18 footer and I ended up getting this 198 DOV. It's a 2016, I bought it last year and a couple of big differences on this boat than the JVX. For one, the JVX is 78 inches total beam. The, J, uh, the DOV is 96, so a lot more stable. It's a 19-footer versus the 18-footer I had, which is actually 17.8, and it hits the waves pretty good. I'm going to show you a couple of videos of me drafting in the boat and going through some semi-rough and rough water. Uh, what I have it powered with is maxed out at a 115 Suzuki SS. And then I have a jack plate I put on the boat because I like to get shallow. It's a six inch jack plate and offsets about six inches as well. And uh, I got a four blade power tech prop on here. Stainless steel prop. The prop is actually going to be a uh, 13 and three quarters by 19. I had to go down a little bit. Uh, my max RPMs on the boat, of course, is like 6,300, but I usually get about 55 to 57, and my miles per hour is going to be roughly. 35 to 37 uh, that's with a full fuel and the fuel capacity on this boat is actually 30 gallons so I always cruise with a full as full as I can get it so it's usually about 30 gallons uh, not much difference in the interior of this boat than the uh, JVX except for this right here which is the center live well which is really awesome it's got two jump seats as well one here and then one on the other side uh, as you can see by the center console, it has a lot of room. Um, it does have this live well up here, which I think is uh, really useless, to be honest with you, because I hardly ever use it, so I use it for a dry storage. And of course, in the front, it has a ton of storage up there. Uh, I added a uh, Lowrance Hook 7 GPS on it, uh, no stereo or anything like that, and everything else is pretty standard. Here's a little power node for my. Uh, jack plate and as you can see I just added a couple of little things a floor mat some floor mats up here when you're standing because these this deck does get slippery because it doesn't have um, some good uh, rough surface on there like this right here it doesn't have a good rough surface but so I added these for uh, traction so when uh, you're getting on and off the boat or standing or doing whatever this uh, actually helps it. so uh, stay tuned for the video this is my Carolina SIF 2016 uh, DLV, love the boat. Of course, the modified V hull really helps out as well, as you can see. Oh, and the other thing I wanted to talk about was draft. Uh, the manufacturer says this boat will draft in six inches. Yeah, mine will not draft in six inches. I actually, I need about eight inches with about three people in it. Uh, getting on plane comfortably. I would need about 18 to 20 inches with the jack plate raised all the way up and trim the motor out. Now once I get going, of course I'm dropping the jack plate as I'm going, uh, but I can get out in 18 inches. Uh, just regular cruising, if I'm on plane, I've gotten as shallow as 8 inches, but uh, it gets very bumpy at 8 inches and I'm going about 20 miles an hour at that because it takes it roughly about 12 to 14 miles per hour to get on plane. Once I'm on plane, I can cruise through the shallows, pretty shallow, even shallower than the JVX, which I thought was impossible, but it is. Uh, I love these boats because they're inexpensive. That gives me more time on the water. Uh, fuel efficiency. Uh, with this one, I average going round trip about 40 miles, 38 miles, and I use about 12 to 13 gallons of fuel, so that's pretty good. Uh, it's a little bit more than the JVX, of course, but though I got twice the motor now because my JVX only had a 60 and now I got it maxed out with a 115. Uh, my cruising speed is usually around 30 miles an hour at 5,000 RPMs, and that's where I found the best fuel efficiency uh, for it. Or actually, about 25 at uh, 4,500, but I usually go about 5, like I said, 5,500, 5,700. Anyway, uh, check. Take a look at the videos that I got uh, just to show you what kind of what the DLV can do in shallow water. Uh, like I said, it, um, it says it'll draft in six, but you really need eight. 
but you can actually cruise. I could actually cruise in eight inches of water on plane. So have any questions give me a shout i'm just putting this out there for everybody just in case they're looking at the uh 198 dov it's a great boat love it does everything i want it to do the jvx was getting a little too small more people started to go fishing with me and uh now i got the little bit bigger boat and i'm happy with it and it still fits in the garage that was the main key i really like the 21 but it wouldn't fit in the garage so even with the breakaway trailer it still wouldn't fit in the garage so i ended up going with the 19 footer so very happy about that all right stay tuned for these videos Somewhere between a boy and man She was 17 and she was far from in between It was summertime in northern Michigan
1989, my thoughts were short, my hair was long Caught somewhere between a boy and man She was 17 and she was far from in between It was summertime in northern Michigan
somewhere between a boy and man She was 17 and she was far from in between It was summertime in northern Michigan
Sweet home. 